Women on fire, selling faster than a hot flush. All of the puns are there for the new version of Menopause the Musical. It sets four women in a department store who have nothing in common but a black lace bra that they all want at a lingerie sale. It's a fun look at the sisterhood and features songs of the 60s, the 70s and the 80s as well. Leading ladies, Linda, Georgia, Yvette and Debbie are with us now. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having yes. us. Oh, I, I can feel the energy straight away. <laughs> We were in for a fun four minutes. I thought you were going to say feel the heat. And I was no. going to say, enough of those jokes, Mike. Enough of the jokes. Linda, let's start with you. This is a huge tour. It's been, it's been, and the, the whole musical has been re hasn't it? So tell yes. us about the production. Yes, it has. Well, this production um, has been updated. Uh, some of the songs have been replaced. And, and of course, the, the pop songs that the words have been um, replaced with that are appropriate for menopausal women. Give, us an, give us an example. Um, oh, oh. oh yes, I'm the great pretender, pretending that I'm doing well. My mind goes void, then I get annoyed. <laughs> My brain skips, but no one can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, look, I sense that all four of you have an absolute blast. This really isn't work, is it? This is, oh, but, well, it is work, but it looks like you're having a good time. Um, Georgia, could you tell us a bit more about the different characters? Who plays who? Sure, well, we've got our Earth Mother here. Yes. So the Great Pretender is um, the brain collapse, isn't it? It's like the, uh, she's a bit space cadet, this one, <laughs> is our, is our ex-hippie, really, eh, darling? Yes, yeah. <laughs> um, I think I'm still a hippie, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I play the professional woman, so I'm the very put-together, very um, corporate uh, control freak. It, yes. Yep. You actually can't control the fact that her body is doing all sorts of crazy stuff, so she's having her journey there with her, with her body and self-acceptance. Yvette, this beautiful creature here, she, she's the housewife from somewhere like, you know, Gaul or somewhere, you know, very, very <laughs> yeah, rural. Yeah, Gaul! Yeah. Hometown, Mike! She'll be lovely then, yeah. Oh, yeah, and she's rediscovering all sorts of stuff with menopause. Doesn't women's sex drive go up? Something like that. <laughs> uh, and then the beautiful um, Debbie is our soap star. So she's our diva, she's our... Um, but battling with the ageing thing, you know, the idea of the, the soap star who's who's, you know, perhaps going to get replaced by someone newer and, yes. um, you know, worried about the screen adding power, you know, all that it's stuff. You know, so yeah, what yeah, and the, the and, yeah, you, you know, <laughs> drooping on yeah, down. <laughs> down. So, yeah, we, we're, we're kind of archetypal, but we're representative of how different women all experience the same thing. Yeah, in different, in Sisterhood. different ways. Mm. Yeah. Sisterhood, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was watching a few clips online from it and it seemed slightly terrifying. Uh, I guess it's maybe the whole menopause thing seems slightly terrifying. Is it like that at all? Menopause or? Well, both. No, not the show. <laughs> okay, like, will I go along and go, oh, that's no, what I can expect? Oh, well, no. I think what it is is that women can't control their bodies. All of a sudden, their bodies are doing things that they can't control. Oh, mine you stopped know, after like I had babies. Getting, <laughs> you know, hot flushes and, and you know, and, and mine blanks and things like that. And, and they just can't control them because it's just but, happening. But the show's very much... Um, light and joyous about yes, that, so absolutely. it's not sort of full on and like, oh my god, this is a frightening thing. It's more like we're poking fun at ourselves. We are. Yeah, and absolutely. celebrating it. Yeah, celebrating, celebrating it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, Yvette, um, this is going to be a huge tour. Um, how many places are you going to around New Zealand? Gosh, I, I don't even know. I <laughs> I'm sure it's something like, I don't know, 40, I think. So over 40? Yeah, about 40, 40 places, 40. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and how do you cope? Have you done this sort of stuff yeah, before we've lived in and out of a suitcase? Yes, I love it. It's great fun. I love going from town to town and meeting people and op shopping and everything like that and seeing all the little rural theatres and the big theatres. It's always fun to discover the amazing theatres around the country. And that's a good thing of that too because what happens is you know you get people that haven't experienced theatre before come out and they really appreciate it. It's a good idea yeah. for doing that. Yeah we yeah. must say also because of course Yvette is in What We Do in the Shadows. That's right. Which is a classic Kiwi movie which Mike has not seen so he's going to go and watch that. <laughs> I promise you, I promise you I will. Now Debbie tell me you have done this show uh, in Brisbane haven't you? Uh, yeah in New Zealand. And you're saying that there's a boot camp that they actually send some people to because it's so popular. Yeah. Well, Jenny Linda's, Linda started it with her friends back in the 1990s. Um, they were having coffee and they were all discussing it and she just said flippantly that this could be a musical. She had no background in music and yet she was able to put this together and it was just... It, 
it's taken off since then, of course. Wow. And just to follow up, Debbie, um, is it more men that come or ladies that come? Oh, definitely or, ladies. Definitely ladies. But and the, men, men enjoy it? Yeah. Oh, yes, they do. Yes, they love it. Or that you, you see them elbowing their wives in the audience going, that's you, that's you. <laughs> I could just imagine. And just the thought of, um, you know, four middle-aged women singing and dancing on stage uh, seems like a hilarious time anyway. So, hey, I want to wish you the best of luck. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. I can feel this energy. Yeah, yeah it's going to be a great What show. I want to know is sort of what sort of training are you doing for this? Because there's lots of dance moves in it. Are you doing lots of sort of boot camp stuff yourself? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Choreographer and director Jeremy Birchall has made it accessible to us. Oh. 40 plus, we're yeah. accessible. So. so he's our director and choreographer and he's just fabulous. Mm. He's making it mm. easy for, uh, for us to do. And uh, we just have to try and remember it all, don't yeah. we? <laughs> oh, you will be fine. Have a great time, ladies. Thank it's going to be fun, so isn't much. it? Thank in New you. Zealand, go and see it. There are over 40 performances of Menopause the Musical throughout New Zealand. You can check out eventfinder.co.nz for all the details.